Uh, I'm Takahiro Miyao. I'd like to talk about Japanese cinema, uh, Kurosawa Oz and Anime. Uh, Japanese films are very popular all over the world, whether they are classic films like uh, Akira Kurosawa's Rashomon and Seven Samurai and Yasujiro Oz's uh, Tokyo Story, uh, or the uh, animation films like uh, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, Spirited Away and uh, here Ponyo on a Cliff by the Sea uh, and other uh, popular anime uh, movies. Uh, obviously, the uh, Japanese films and the uh, Japanese manga uh, share the same strengths. That is, the Japanese uh, uh, visually oriented culture uh, with the uh, uh, symbolic yet uh, delicate expressions of complex human emotions, which can appeal to everyone universally. On the other hand, um, the uh, Japanese uh, films uh, have the same weaknesses as those of uh, Japanese popular music uh, that is a uh, big success within Japan but not, not so successful outside of Japan because of its inward-looking approaches and rather legacy business strategies. Uh, but the uh, major difference between Japanese films and Japanese pop music uh, is that is the uh, worldwide recognition and appreciation of the originality, uniqueness, and excellence of uh, some of the Japanese uh, you know, movies and the, uh, compared to uh, Japanese popular music. Uh, actually, uh, after World War II, uh, Japanese film industry uh, revived at least twice uh, because of its strengths. Uh, you know, the, even before the war, uh, after the uh, uh, silent movie era, uh, the uh, Japanese um, movie industry was developing to a relatively high level. And that's the reason why Japan came back so strongly after the devastation of the uh, defeat of World War II with the revived film industry. And the, uh, by the beginning of 1950s, uh, Japanese uh, cinema uh, flourished uh, with the uh, Akira Kurosawa's uh, Rashomon and Seven Samurai and other uh, successful movies like this one uh, featuring famous actor, uh, the, uh, uh, the Mihune Toshiro, Toshiro Mihune, uh, and the Yasujiro Oz's uh, uh, Tokyo Story here, uh, which has recently been uh, uh, selected by famous directors all over the world as the greatest film of all time. And the, at its peak in the 1950s, the annual number of movie goers, uh, you know, the uh, top the uh, uh, million, a uh, billion actually, and the uh, uh, Hollywood and Tokyo were the major centers of the movie industry at that time. Uh, of course, at that time, the Hollywood dominated world market. But a Japanese movie, uh, only uh, the uh, you know the popular uh, within Japan. Uh, the then came the uh, decline in the movie industry everywhere in Japan as well as in the United States because of the rapidly rapidly rising popularity of TV viewing, and the in fact in Japan. Uh, the number of movie goers uh, dropped uh, by half uh, by the uh, mid 1960s compared to the peak period in the 1950s. 
and the stagnation continued for another decade or so. And by 1980, the total number of uh, movie goers uh, was only uh, 0.2 billion. That is one fifth, one sixth of the uh, annual or the number of uh, audience back in the 50s. Um, the uh, the uh, uh, Japanese cinema uh, then made a remarkable comeback uh, in the late 80s and uh, 1990s uh, as the uh, number of cinema complex theaters uh, began to increase with the uh, very popular animation films appearing and the uh, the uh, like uh, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, Princess Mononoke and other uh, popular anime uh, films. Uh, and the symbol of Japanese uh, uh, film comeback uh, was this uh, Spirit Away uh, by uh, Hayao Miyazaki, uh, the most successful uh, film in Japanese uh, movie history, uh, you know, the surpassing the uh, uh, the Titanic uh, at the uh, peak time, uh, uh, you know, movie audience, uh, the gross revenue actually. And here is the uh, the some illustrations uh, like this is Chihiro and uh, very colorful pictures uh, uh, here. Uh, the this uh, movie won the uh, 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 the academic award for the best uh, animated feature and the uh, Golden Bear at the Berlin uh, International Film Festival. Uh, since that time, the uh, more than half of Japanese films have been uh, animation films. Uh, although other genres of uh, Japanese uh, movies uh, became uh, very popular in and outside of Japan, such as uh, horror movies, Yakuza movies, and the uh, science fiction, etc. Um, lately, however, uh, Japanese films are said to be losing its vitality and popularity in the world market uh, as the uh, other countries, especially emerging countries, have been uh, uh, increasing the quality of their movies and the, uh, their presence in the world of film markets. Uh, the, in this regard, the Japanese uh, movie industry seems to uh, share the same weaknesses as Japanese popular music uh, because it's it's uh, very successful domestically but not overseas um, because of the lack of uh, or insufficient insufficient uh, efforts and the uh, unsatisfactory strategies uh, for the overseas market development and also for new uh, digital and networking age uh, in this uh, respect the neighboring Asian countries such as South Korea and China uh, seem to be uh, catching up with Japan and maybe surpassing Japan nowadays. So it is uh, interesting to see if Japanese uh, films uh, will uh, make a comeback again, the third comeback in the post-war period by making use of its uh, traditional strengths uh, of the uh, you know the visual orientation and the visual sense and high technology uh, in the near future. Well, that's about the uh, Japanese cinema, uh, Kurosawa Ozu, and the anime. Thank you for watching.